Hello audience, I am Manslave, those of you who know me for Elite MIGTO, my YouTube channel, that sort of thing. Uh, people know me on Skype and Facebook, of which I'm more active on Facebook just because basically I've been doing uh, more writing than I have uh, video production. Um, I just, honestly, I just got lazy. And I got this tablet that I'm using right now, and um, it's just more convenient. I'm actually recording the video with the tablet right now, but that's not the point. Anyway, this will be somewhat of a somewhat of a video response to uh, Barbarossa's recent video about stagnation, um, because he's right. There's a there's a lot of it in the men's movement. And that sort of thing. Um, I'm going to have to get down to what I'm talking about because I, I want to make this video very short. Uh, I still get comments frequently, somewhat frequently, on videos on my YouTube channel, which is uh, val Validation Warfare. And a lot of my videos are old. They're more than a year old, uh, many of them. And I've since learned a whole lot more. And that's why I'm calling for a change in the men's movement. <clears throat> um, it does not necessarily have to be MIGTOE. Uh, but eventually it's going to come to a point which there needs to be a, a, a cleansing of the men's movement. Uh, we're going to have to remove the baggage of defeat the left, government is evil, and um, feminism ruined women. Uh, there's a lot of belief that, that women were sweetly innocent until feminism had ruined them uh, and that sort of thing. This is not exactly true. Uh, feminism is an influential factor. However, you need to understand the mystery of how feminism came into existence. Um, I don't take the conventional view of where feminism came from. Uh, that is somehow to do with Marxism. I'm not disputing that Marxism is involved. I mean, there's obviously um, there there's obviously um, characteristics of Marxism, such as socialism or communism, that women find interesting, and that feminists find interesting also, or appealing, or desirable, or whatever. I'm not disputing that. However, what I am disputing is that communism or Marxism is the primary creator of feminism. That's what I'm disputing. Because many of these characteristics in which we know in feminism, it, they, actually, uh, they actually emerged much earlier than the uh, mass adoption of Karl Marx's uh, ideas and all that. And the, the, the fundamental um, characteristics that, that, that gave rise to feminism and the behavior that, that is so often associated with feminism actually um, were, uh, had occurred uh, hundreds of years before Karl Marx was even born. Uh, they predate him uh, by potentially thousands of years and that sort of thing. What we're dealing with is something more than just feminism. It is a struggle that affects every human female. Now... Don't be very superficial about this, and don't be very absolute in the sense of assuming that all females are like that, or whatever, if my theory is correct. What I'm getting at is that there is a struggle, an internal struggle, that affects every female. However, not all females, not all women, react or behave the exact same way pertaining to it. It's just like, okay, I'm going to put it this way. All human beings have the ability to become addicted to crack cocaine. But that does not guarantee that every human being will become a crackhead. I'm just talking about the potential. The human brain has the potential to get hooked onto these drugs. And that's the type of things I'm talking about, human nature. I'm talking about factors such as inhibition, selfishness, um, desire, fear. Uh, these sorts of things. And what I'm getting at is the tyranny of biology, known to feminists uh, as, well, 
I'm getting at what I'm getting at is some a phenomenon known uh, to feminists as the tyranny of biology, and Andrea Dworkin is one of those who spoke about it uh, at least a little bit, um, and that sort of thing. And it is a struggle that all women face, uh, but not all women will react the same way. However, very much like the human brain has the chemical ability to be addicted to crack cocaine, the human female has the ability to basically have negative characteristics of her behavior because of this internal struggle that she has. And what we're getting at is the root causes of the gender war. And people need to understand where gender conflict comes comes from. If you want to believe that it comes from Karl Marx or leftist or feminism or whatever, then you're wrong. Because that does not answer the question of how feminism came into existing. Okay, now about feminism. All feminism is illegitimate. All feminism, even the nice feminism, even the women's voting rights feminism, all of that, all 